So let's quickly take a look at the advanced BIOS of uh, this MSI Prestige 15 A10SC. Um, yeah, I, I got access to everything in here now. It shows all the information for everything, which is pretty cool. Don't know what a lot of that is. I know what most of it is, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is this is the fun stuff right here. Um, in the normal BIOS, you get most of these settings up here. You get pretty much all of these up here. But what you don't get is a lot of these down here. These are neat. And I'll just go through them all. I haven't changed anything yet. I am going to change some of them maybe. I don't know. I don't want to break anything. It's neat that everything has um, the explanation for what the thing is, the definition over there. There isn't anything that isn't defined, which is nice. It's better than some desktop BIOS. I'm trying to do everything looking through the viewfinder of the phone. Hmm. Flex ratio. Got all the prefetchers and all that. The cores. So I could disable cores. That's cool. Hyper threading. Hyper threading we did have an option for before. Built in self test. All that stuff. That's BIOS guard. We got the guard itself. I, I like that. This option should not be present on production system. Well, too late. I mean, it is. Uh, hope this. The, I hope my laptop doesn't update the BIOS uh, by itself. That would suck. Cause I want these here forever, please. At Devil's Gate Rock and Nifty Rock. Voltage optimization. Power and performance. So it's in max non turbo, got speed step on, race to halts off. Uh, yeah. Increase CPU frequency in order to enter a package C state faster to reduce overall power. Huh. I. I've seen that on desktop motherboards before, and I've never seen it explained uh, clearly before, which is nice. Got speed shift, good. And I think that's the hardware control of speed shift option. So turbo is on, and it should be on. Now we get into the turbo modes. Now mind you, this is default. Like I said, I didn't change anything here. So the max turbo limit which, okay, I mean, I, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's not the PL1 or the PL2. That's just saying this is the max value you could put in. So that's, I mean, it looks crazy uh, on a laptop to start out with, but it, in reality it's not because that's just what you can put. Um, got the package limit of 15 watts because this is advertised. This is a 15-watt laptop. No, it's not. It's a 45 watt laptop that could go up to 64. And it's 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 like I've seen I've seen I've seen it in hardware info. It'll it'll go right up to like past 50 and then kind of level off at 45. Which is nice. Yeah, energy efficient P states, good. So lock is disabled and that's pretty good. 47, 47, 41, and 39, 39. It never runs at its its base clock, which is hilarious. I don't even know. I guess they give it a base clock so they could say it's a 300% overclock. 
Recommended only to disable over... Okay, yeah, that needs... That, I'll just leave that. Um, TDP boot mode. It's on nominal because there is no defined TDP up or down. It's on disabled. Okay. I guess that's what makes, uh, lets the uh, MSI Center app um, change the, 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 the power states because actually nothing about the, the CPU is controlling it. It's all in the EC. So these kind of don't really matter. Got the VRs. Acoustic noise settings. Enabling this option will help mitigate acoustic noise on certain SKUs when CPU is in deeper C states. Uh, okay. Does that mean like high frequency sounds? That you sometimes hear? System agent voltage regulation. On. So does it say like there's a default? Okay, that's fine. Mm. Okay, cool. So the core. And graphics. I don't need to go through all those. You've seen it. To fix intercell VRC state issues. Disabled. No mailbox command sent. Mailbox is just a neat term. So platform PL1 is disabled. And PL2 is disabled. And let's see. This option is enabled. It activates... BIOS, oh, okay, so it's it's just using whatever. C states, C1 and C3. Doesn't have demotion or on demotion, whatever. And then you got all the time values for entering the different C states, which is neat. Thermal monitor is enabled. What's that? Don't know what that is. There's no, nothing there. But that says EC turbo control mode is disabled and energy performance gain is disabled. Okay. There's no PL3 override. It's just using default. CPU lock that is enabled and overclocking lock is disabled. Cool. Uh, we don't need to go into, I mean, it's just the graphics. Default max frequency. It's got standby enabled. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. We got all the system agent crap. This is nuts. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is kind of neat. You get all of this stuff for uh, for things. <laughs> you could change the method to prevent row hammer if you've ever run a mem test before and you see you fail a bunch. And all that crap. Thermal configuration is disabled and it's just using the BIOS or something. Power meter. Look at all that crap. That's cool. I don't know what it is. It's cool though. Thermal reporting. It's enabled. Just max them out. Who cares? We got that.
training algorithms. Look at all that crap. I'm going to have to get in touch with someone at Intel so they could just give me the deets. Tell me the secrets. So it's on the max thing. Skip scanning of, okay, yeah, because this, this yeah, switchable graphics is the primary display. Yep, that's, that's correct. To change the aperture size, which is neat, I might. I don't want to fuck with this stuff, kind of, because, like... I don't want to enter a state where I see nothing. It, it just disables the display and it, it breaks that. That doesn't seem like a fun thing. I don't know if I looked at these. PCHIO. Teton Glacier Mode. That sounds fun. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through a lot of these. That there's there's a lot of crap here. Um, where's where's a cool one that I remember seeing? I'm gonna take pictures of everything in here, and uh, it'll be in the review for this laptop. There you go. Overclocking features are enabled. Uh, watchdog timer is is enabled. XTU interface is disabled. I'm going to enable that. Thermal velocity boost is enabled. Um, yeah. That needs to be disabled. That needs to be enabled for thermal velocity to work. ring everything's just kind of like zero which is good i guess because those are are offsets and stuff shows the timings Wait, I didn't even pay attention here. Okay, so so the XMP is the same as the thing. Okay. What else we got here? How long? Okay, 13 minutes. Um, I'm going to stop here. You could tell this is pretty neat. Um, that's why I'm documenting it. Uh, see you. Bye.